All right, guys, they're playing some Fiora top lane with all the changes around in the new patch. And I'm going to showcase you guys exactly on how you can carry how strong Fiora is right now. So um, what we have is Grasp, we got Demolish, Second Wind, Overgrowth, a Metaflow, and Scorch. And then we also run a Thorn Shield with Ignite Flash. Is this supposed to be a um, you know what's really exciting about this patch? So they basically buffed every single item that fiora is using uh they they buffed core Trinker in a very unique way they buffed hydra giving it more ability haste they also buffed black lever which you could technically build on fiora it's actually not that bad right now um plenty of items that have been changed fiora has already been a good champion but now with all these indirect buffs i can guarantee you she's going to be amazing so yeah, what we're going to be doing is simple. We're going to go for the Hydra first item, and then second item, we're going to go directly into Gorge Anchor, and then we will have like the... Uh... Nice. That's not so bad. Not bad traits. I heal, I heal off of the auto attacks a little bit because I got the shield with second wind. So like the traits are not as bad. Actually quite good. We'll get the shove here. Alright. They got a Kha'Zix in the jungle, but Kha'Zix is currently in bottom, so we're chilling for now. There we go. I'm gonna let this wave be for what it is. What I'm gonna do is um i'll let her farm this out i'm going to get my item and then as i come back i'll i'll get way 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 stronger let's go for long sword this one let's go for one more potion and that's it now check this out kale has tp and flash right she only has one choice now if she decides to stay and she will shove into me and fight me she will die because i have item advantage if she decides to be like, okay, I'm going to TP back to lane, that's really good because she will no longer have TP, so. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to try and kill her because I think she's going to shove it. It's the first Q. Yep. And like I thought, she's going to move up. And there it is. So yeah, we had the um, item advantage. Wait. I think I might be able to kill Kha'Zix as well. It really depends, but... Ah, I didn't go for it. Okay. Unfortunately, not really good for me as I got really low on uh, on HP. Kind of sucks for me, but we will manage. Oh, we lose that one. Ooh, that was almost a grass proc right there. Nice. Can't afford to miss these. I'm trying not to. But since we got really low on HP, Kale is now doing a lot of damage. Let's see if we can shove this out. Whoops, missed that one too. It's fine. Okay. Let's see what happens. All we have to do is just hit the uh, hit the passive each time. So when this thing is on the left side, we can try and hit it. I also want to try and hit Grass Brock, so we're going to try hitting Qs anyway. Nice. It's really good that we got to... Oh, I missed that one too. It's really good that we got to shove the wave out. Now we go back instantly. And first things first, what I'm going to get, very crucial, we're going to go for Tiamat. 
We can also go for Warhammer. Definitely not bad either. We can also go for Mercs, which is also a really good option. But um, let's go for this for now. I am not going to wait for my team. And I'm also not going to sell my, my ward. The reason why I value Hydra more in this case. By the way, the description is bugged. Don't, don't read that. The description of the item is completely glitched. Um, it's not what the item provides. It's actually something else. The, it's completely bugged in the live server. Um, but the reason why we're building it is because it provides AOE damage and scales pretty well. Ooh, nice. Ah, never mind. I was thinking about all ending. I'm willing to reset the, the, the back port. Yep. Nice. I don't mind. Oh, she goes back there instead, so she still kept backing. Oh, she actually cancelled the backboard now. Why? Why did you do it? Is it like a jungler? Might be a jungle. I don't see why Kale just reset, uh, canceled the backboard. It's not make any sense to me. Ah. Yep. Thank you very much. Let's go for the first one. And we got two plates. Nice one. Dude, I'm getting ganked like quite a bit this game. Pretty annoying. I wonder if Shaco can beat him. Hmm, Shaco doesn't go for it. Oh, Kale's back already. Every time I kill this guy, I always get ganked by the enemy team. In one way or another. Ah, there's also a Kha'Zix right behind him. Dude, come on, man. Leave me alone, dude. Let's go back. That's annoying. Okay, let's go specifically for... I want to go Mercs this game. And I'll show you why I'm doing it. Um, in short, um, I could rush Tiamat instantly. I could have done it. Is it worth it? Probably not. Why? It's because Kale has already Berserker's Griefs. She already bought this item. So she gets to outrun me way faster than normally. Um, for that reason, going for Mercs is just way better than rushing the item. Okay. And now we hold the wave again. Just waiting for Kale to walk up. Enemy killing screen. Let's see. She's definitely buying items at the moment. Kale becomes a problem when she reaches the, uh, the recurve bow. That's one of her first power spikes, but she does not have that. Yet. She doesn't have that yet. Oh. Is that one? In the blink of an eye. Don't have to worry about Kha'Zix currently because he was on Drake. I always shove because the wave is massive. Whoops. Actually missed one of them. Okay, now we go back. So again, like we stack the wave up and then we use the, the back because um, Pale, if we stay around and try and poke, it's not going to work. 
Um, obviously. If we go back and we buy Lifesteal, we come back, the wave will push back into me and I'll have an item advantage. That's why I'm going for a reset here. An ally has been slain. Do not hesitate. Enemy rampage. Oh, nice one. Hmm. Well, that sucks. That's basically Kel right there. But the ultimate is, is pretty uh, pretty high cooldown. Whoops. So if she uses R once, she can't use it anymore for a while. Nice, Kha'Zix is dead. Oh, she just and gets me low. I want to hit my Demolish proc, actually. Yep, that's the Sandra again. I did land, but I can't all in. I'm still getting ganked. Yo, this Kale is receiving so many ganks. We got her. Now we push. Oh, can to lose the cannon. There we go. Well, this game is looking pretty good because we're about to get my Hydra. Nice. I think I'm going to try and get the whole thing down. Perfect. Literally, just before like 40 minutes. That's nice. That'll definitely help. Uh, I think yeah, I think they have uh, the kill of it anyway. Yeah, I, I couldn't run. If even if I use my Q to run, I he would still get to me easily. go for this one um next we're gonna go for uh, this i think we're gonna go with just kindle gem for now because i want to have more ability haste i hope that my team can play safe this game because this is a game that i can carry easily only problem is that lucian's got like six skills and he's super fed so we'll see how that goes My ADC is standing AFK there. Okay. Such fine style. I'm glad that we have Hydra now. So now we actually have like really good clear. That's one of the weaknesses that Fiora has. But that you can fix this by going for this item. That's one of the main reasons people are building Hydra on Fiora. Because um, the lack of wave clear is the only reason why this champion could be weak. But... Other than that, like, Fiora is one of the best champions in top right now. It's just the, the, the wave clear is terrible. But that's fixed by going for Hydra. Ah, the dragon. Just a grass ball. Like 
Ah, that's the ultimate again. Well, that sucks. Mm, I don't think I can make a change. Hmm. I think I could. I think I could kill him. I'm baiting him. I accidentally missed it. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Like that guy was worth like 1000 gold, bro. I thought he was uh, I thought if I was going to flash Q, I thought he was going to move further away from me. And then I flash Q, he didn't do anything. He just kept running. Ah, oh, it sucks. It sucks so much. So I may not have needed to even flash at all. I was like within max range, roughly. Sharp blade, sharp mine. This game sucks. Like lane phase, really good. Kale, no problem. I am getting absolutely destroyed by Kha'Zix, Lissandra, and now even Lucian. And Lucian is like 1,000 gold, bro. Also, Lissandra is just so fat, bro. Your turret has been destroyed. They're going for Herald too. My lane is not going to be fun. Because I don't think that I get to fight kills much anymore. And I'm just going to get 1 versus 9 the entire game. I can guarantee you. They're going to be top lane soon again. Oh, a fed Lucian. Looks so fed. What a nightmare. I kind of doubt it's going to work out, but let's see if we can get it anyway. Ooh, still got it. Well, that's pretty massive. I need a bit more. Uh, I can't buy the Warhammer, but I still need a bit more. 300. I have no equal. 12 kills Lucian, man. Ugh. And the 3 and 0 Lissandra. I, I find, like, that's acceptable, but man, 12 kills Lucian, bro. I'm glad we got Hydra early, that will help. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Got my item. You can't forget about the dragon, we will never get it. If Lucian groups up with the full team, we will never win. Ever. We also have a team that does not scale, except for me. Like we we got some champions that just doesn't mean anything in that game. <laughs> if we can get like one kill on Lucian, we, that would basically fix the entire game. Let's push again. The answer to this game is to split push and just see if they make mistakes. Because team fighting is simply not worth it with how fed this Lucian is.
I'm assuming that this camp is going to get taken. I think that Lucian's gonna try taking it. Yep. Yeah, let's try smiting it, bro. <laughs> you can tell he's smiting if he's gonna get stuck after the camp goes down. You can tell, usually. I think that my next item is... I want to go Black Leaf because it's good buffed. Test it out on Fiora, but... I don't know. It might have to be a Death Stance game. I'll go with this for now. Might be a Death Stance game, probably. They're about to make a mistake here, because I believe that kill is still top side. Wow. I refuse to believe they made that mistake. Unbelievable. That Lucian made that mistake. Being like 1,000 gold, just walk walking up like that? I don't know. That was pretty... Let's get one more wave. Imagine if we had that 1000 gold from Lucian. I actually have no idea where it transferred to. I think to Fizz. Mm-hmm. Yeah, must try. I mean, you have like a Kale in your team, right? But we still have a Fiora. Like, we are scaling as well, dude. So it's not, you know, that big of a deal. That's... Yeah. The fact won't change, bro. This Lucian has got like 12 kills, now 14. You can't take these risks. He's not going for the chase. Okay. Can't fight that. This guy is so fat, bro. <laughs> I'm just getting deleted in instantly if I go in. I'm not at 1,000 gold. Hmm. We got 1,000 gold from Lucian. That's quite massive. Go Shoujin. I would personally love to go for a Death Stance, but Death Stance does no longer provide ability haste, but I still think it's definitely worth buying in this game. I wouldn't mind. And then again, at the same time, I, I think I would like to go for the Black Lever because I want to test out the item on Fiora, see what that's like. Since we are we have like these two items which are buffed, I think it would be fun to go Black Lever as well. That would sound like a lot of fun. But I think, I think it's better if I go Distance here. I'm gonna build it. Let's <clears throat> push it. Drive quickly. 
Kill us up here. Or not anymore. I think... No. I see two people down here. I think there's going to be more. I'm just going to reset just in case. I'm still very tempted to go for Black Lever. I think I, I might do it. catch him but it depends whoops <laughs> a Santa being this strong it's a support by the way yeah yeah I I want to go for a black lever and just test it out I I'm, I'm really interested in seeing like how strong the item now is after the buff on the item so let's actually build the black lever there it is we might actually be able to make a comeback this game probably we're almost level 18 we're ahead of everybody you know just farming does a trick in this game enemy team has not found a way yet to end the game grab this camp too. They have all four dragons, so it's still going to be really hard. Might actually get into a fight here. Lucian is walking up. That's really good. We need to focus Lucian first. Lucian is top priority. If we get a chance at least. Self my parry. That guy has gotten away already. Whoops. Okay. And let's heal up off the wave. Yo, we're making a great comeback happen. This is great. I hope that my teammates can defend this one. Yep. That's the tower right there. It turns out that they're going to be trying to finish the game, so I must reset. Oh, they're getting wrecked too hard. I thought my teammates were strong at this point. Turns out they still weren't as strong as I thought. <laughs> Not even close. Man, that Lucian's so strong. Bro. Alright, I kinda like the build though. We nearly have like 4000 HP. It sucks that we couldn't get my dead stands. I, I really thought that my teammates were stronger to defend the base, and then it turns out they actually weren't. Kay was just obliterating everyone with like two items. She has like a mixture of like Blade and Riftmaker. The build is not even that strong here, but whatever. Hey, this is Fjord Talk. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube vid, and I'll see you next time. Peace.